There's a boy here from Africa. Oh, um, you know, trucking, man, it's just, it's just crazy. You have to be able to play a dirty game in trucking in order to win. And it's funny, a lot of these guys that came on YouTube were promoting mentorship, dispatching courses, and all of those stuff. They made themselves a decent amount of money. You see, where I'm from, that's not who I am. You know, the highest amount I took for anybody on my channel is two hundred and fifty dollars. While other people charging fifteen hundred or even three thousand dollars to mentor you. You know, before I started releasing videos on YouTube about how to start a bus trucking, I know people that were charging five to ten thousand dollars to get you started for trucking. They call that six figure trucking. And I didn't like that because I felt like, why? Why all that money? You know, if you pay that type of money to learn the business, then what you have left to start a business, like get your truck, insurance, and all of that. And that's one of the reasons I came on YouTube. I started giving information free. I started giving dispatcher information for free. Like people were charging people. You pay me this amount, I give you my dispatcher information. You pay me this amount, I give you five brokers and stuff like that. And I made video telling people what you need to do to get yourself a broker for free without paying penny to anybody, right? Broker is just simple. If you're working on somebody's authority for the fact that you're brand new, right? You're working on somebody's authority. In the meantime, Every law that that person book and give to you, your name and your phone number is going to be in that broker contact list as a driver. So when you when you go in to deliver that law, that's what you want to communicate with the broker. Give the broker your ETA and every step. Because broker freak out when that law is on a truck and they're not able to talk to drivers. So you want to communicate with brokers. And those are things that I released a while ago. And people who learn from my videos... They create themselves a great trucking business. They don't have to go pay $1,500 mentorship to anybody. I take, at some point, I started giving my phone number. I used to do Instagram phone call, like Instagram call, and then I stopped it. And then I was giving my phone number to people, and then I stopped it because I find myself, because at some point I feel like if I could even do it for free, but how much subscriber you have if everybody wants you to answer their phone call for free? So then I came up with $150. Some people even pay just $100. Hey, bro, I got $100. I said, yeah, that's fine. Because I'm not in it for the money. And then I went up to $250. And one of the reasons that I capped to $250 was somebody coming, for example, that don't have a LLC, nothing, nothing, nothing. Had no idea. Then I start you with 250. That's like 250. That's it. It's, it's a lifetime mentorship. You have my phone number. You can call me anytime except Sunday. I tell that to all the people that I mentor on my channel. That's how I try to help people. While other people out there making 1500 mentorship, promoting a lot of stuff, $3,000 and all that crazy stuff, right? I'm telling you. So when someone comes with zero company, I send them to my special lady that Register that business, get all that LLC, DOT, MC, BOC3, UCR, whatever you want to think about. And then I set them off for insurance. And then I send them to keep trucking. And then I even help them, like, advise them what type of truck they need to get and all those stuff. Right? I did all those stuff for what? $250. So I did all of this stuff for just $250, though. But I always try to give people solution. How you don't even need to pay me that two hundred and fifty dollars. The way you can do yourself, so you don't have to pay that two hundred and fifty dollars to me, or the fifteen hundred dollars to anybody else, or the three thousand dollars to anybody else. Because I see people promoting, or oh, the mentorship is running out, booking now before it's too late. All this stuff. I give you guys the secret sauce on how to start your trucking business without giving penny to somebody. Guys, it's just easy. You see, when I came on YouTube saying that I'm on break, 2025, I'm going back into trucking. But my goal is to go back to Sema, right? I'm kind of 
seeing what I'm going to do. But at the end of the day, you guys want to stick around. I will keep you guys up to date. Right? I give you guys solution. If you want to come into trucking right now, what you need to do? You go into trucking without any loan. Then you're going to be able to cash him some money. But if you go into trucking with loan, I'm sorry, you're not going to survive. So I give you guys solution to everything that I put on my channel here. I give you guys solution. I give you guys choices. If you want to start your trucking business, guys, this is something that I never disclose on my channel, but I always make video about it, telling people what to do. Go work for somebody, guys. I don't know. Set your ego. You see what I'm from. Even if I have to clean somebody, y'all, just so I could put food on the table for my family, I would do that because I'm not going to say to who, oh, no, I'm a big dude. I don't see myself cleaning somebody, y'all. I don't see myself being a driver for somebody. Some people come and say, oh, I just want to be my own boss right off the bat. At the end of the day, every single one of these billionaires you see, they work for somebody at some point before they became their own boss. I have to work for somebody to learn the experience, and based on that, you can build yourself. I release a video on stuff like that many times. You work for your money. You don't want to give it to me if I don't deserve it. You don't want to give it to somebody as if you don't deserve it. You want to keep your money and do what you want to do with it. I'm the only YouTuber that come on YouTube, try to tell people, this is what you need to do so you don't have to spend your money for any random reason. Go work for somebody. When I started trucking, this is something you guys don't know about me. When I started trucking, I had my LLC, everything. And I was looking to get into trucking. But I wanted to make sure if I'm actually doing the right thing. So in order to confirm that, I had to work for somebody. I had to work for somebody for three months. For three months, I worked for that person. And he showed me everything that I wanted to know. He showed me everything that I wanted to know. And that's the same thing I released it on my channel long time. Go work for somebody. If you're working for somebody, that person will train you 100%. And you will get to see how much money is that person making in a week. And based on that, you can make your decision if you want to go in the business. Because if you're a driver for a company... You get to see the money first. When they book the law, they will send you the rate confirmation, which include the amount that the law is paying for, the address, and everything. You get to see them. So during the week, you're able to see how much you're averaging gross. And based on that gross, the company will pay you a percentage. So let's say you do $5,000 a week or six, dollars $7,000 a week. Now you work for that person, you know how to pick up loan from point A to point B. You know how to communicate with brokers. You already have some broker's phone number in your notebook and everything. Preparing for your future company. So that in the future, if you have your own company, now you have this broker phone number. All you have to do is call this broker, Mr. Broker, do you remember me? I delivered a loan for you from Wisconsin to Chicago. And I was your driver. My name is whatever. Now that I have my own company... Can I work for you? That broker will tell you his requirement. If he wants you to be at it for three months or more, he will tell you. But at the end of the day, you have that broker phone number though. You don't, you have his phone number and his email and everything. You don't have to go buy that from somebody else. You don't have to go make somebody else's rich just to get five brokers information. These are things that I released on my channel a long time. Why? Why you guys are letting people just playing fool out of you? I'm not giving my hard-earned money to somebody that don't deserve it. And for that reason, I'm trying to tell you guys that if you work for your money, do not let somebody play fool out of you. Because at the end of the day, that person will be in a luxury hotel, buying themselves Mercedes, claiming that they get that money from trucking or their trucking business. No, it's the money that you guys paying. That's what it takes to buy themselves a Mercedes or whatever you know, sleeping in a fancy hotel. Why you want to sponsor somebody fancy lifestyle? Go work for somebody. When you work for somebody, that money, you know, you save it. You don't have to pay somebody. You're getting a free experience. You're getting the questions that many of you guys ask me all the time. How much can you make in trucking if you have a brand new bus truck? No. 
If you really want to know, go work for somebody. Even three weeks is enough. For someone who's smart, if you pay a mentorship 1500 to somebody, how, how long did it take to train you? Not even one week. So tell me what will happen if you give three weeks of your time to somebody working for them. Because the thing is, backstroke, you don't need a CDL. So you can work for anybody at any given moment. You don't have to go get your CDA in order to do so. You see, in the semi-trucking business, a lot of these owner operators, they first get the CDA and they work for companies for what? A year or more. When they get the experience for one year or more, then they go work for themselves. But at least they're not paying anybody. I feel like bar stroking is the only business that we promote mentorship. You see the guy like Mother Trucker and all these guys, they don't promote mentorship because in semi trucks, you don't need for somebody to mentor you. All you need is a CDL to go work for somebody. Work for the company. The company will train you for free. You're not going to make a lot of money though, but you're getting that experience for free. And if you work for that company for one year straight, or two year based on that contract, if they are the one who paying for your CDL, you're gonna have a requirement. Either you're gonna work for them for two years and then you walk away free, you don't owe them, right? And then when you're done, a lot of these companies has what they call lease to own. Then you can lease and be an owner operator. So you're not gonna see a semi trucking YouTube channel that promoting mentorship. Box truck is the only business that we brag about mentorship it's because we ourselves we are too lazy to go do our research we are too lazy to go take our time to work for somebody you got a lot of guys out there shutting down their business because they can't get somebody to run their truck including myself i got sick of babysitting drivers a lot of people that come to me i give them all the experience for free but when they go over the road they do their own thing at the end of the day, I was losing money. I ran my truck for one year straight with no issue. I make a lot of money. When I got my second truck, I put drivers in it. That's when my problem started. So if you're the type of person who's responsible, who waiting to take your life to the next level, what you need to do is to go work for somebody. That person will train you. Set your ego down. If you want to be a boss, a boss is someone that listens. Someone that take order from somebody and build an experience for himself. And the next thing you know, boom, you wanted the boss like you cannot, nobody can stop you, baby. Set your ego to a side. Go work for somebody. Get that experience. Stop paying mentorship left and right. I don't wait for anybody to pay. Like, like I say, I started. I started promoting that I no longer do mentorship a long time ago. If you guys remember that, I don't do mentorship anymore. I want my free time. That to tell you that I'm not even waiting for that $200 for some of y'all. Go work for somebody. If you're not sure what to find somebody to work for, go to a truck stop. Any truck stop, you will see a box truck there at least once a day. You see the box truck, hey man. Just wave to that person. Hey, can I talk to you, bro? Are you the owner of the company or your driver? They will tell you your driver. And you can talk to that driver. Hey, I really want to drive a box truck, man. You know, uh, but do you think your company is hiring? If that driver knows somebody who's hiring, y'all will share information. And that's how you can get yourself a job. You don't even have to go on Craigslist or whatever. Go to a truck stop. And sit in your car towards to this truck section and just wait for the box truck to pull up and go talk to that person. Say, I want to work. I'm really interested in the box trucking business. I want to make myself some money and I also want to learn the business. If this individual looking for somebody, they will hire you. They will get your information. They will hire you. So you see how easy it is to get a box trucking job. You don't have to go online for it though. Go sit to a truck stop. That's it. That's all you have to do. And when you do that, you will be able to work for somebody. And I got people that are already in the business that pay over $1,500 for mentorship, and they still don't understand that. 
if you shut down your authority, like you take insurance of your authority, the state don't understand that your authority is done. Even if you hire your authority for three years and you remove insurance from your authority, the authority is no longer going to be active for that three years. So if you decide to come back using the same MC and DOT number, you are starting over. Even if you've been active for three years, the moment that insurance go off, you got 30 days from the FMCSs to put insurance back on the authority because they know sometimes we ran into some payment issue, so they give us some, 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 some deadline. You got 30 days to put insurance back on your authority. If you go past that 30 days, your activation day is gone. So if you were active since 2021, and we in 2024, September, if you didn't follow up with a FMCSA 30 days and you come back 60 days later, now your new activation day will be maybe October 2024. It's no longer going to be 2021 though. So it's sad that somebody paid $1,500 to somebody for mentorship and still don't understand the rules when it comes to what happened if your insurance get cut off from your authority. So that's the difference right there. Some of you are paying $1,500 or more to somebody for mentorship and your state don't get nothing. But for me, I don't charge this amount though. But everybody that gave me that little $200, I'm pretty sure they understand those things. But this is your boy from Africa. I will catch you guys in the next video. Go work for somebody and be your own boss.